Advanced Stock Tools. This is Matthew back with another video. It's been a while since we've uploaded, so I think y'all are going to be excited for this one. We're actually heading over to a bed and breakfast, and we're going to be doing a replacement of a tub spout. So, I'm going to bring y'all along. We'll see how we get this done. Alright, we are here. Let's go inside. Alright guys, so here we are. We're here in the bathroom. Uh, acoustics are probably going to be a little weird, but this is the tub spout. So as you can see here, this is the uh, diverter. Here's the pin. And then there's that washer. So, I've already tried... Let me just go ahead and pull this off because I've already loosened it. I've already tried cleaning this out, getting some of that buildup and stuff out. Uh, the issue that they were having was that uh, they weren't able to pick up the lever and change it over from the tub to the shower. It wasn't engaging. So I've already tried, I got a repair kit and I already tried replacing it. The replacement do doesn't fit. So I tried just using the new grommet from the repair kit in the old unit and that's still not working. Like I said, I've already tried filing down some of the buildup with this little file here. Uh, that wasn't working either, so we just got a new one. So they look basically identical. We're just going to replace the new one and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and put y'all down so we can get that new one installed. Uh, real quick, what we're going to do is, this one is a slide-on unit. Let's see if we can focus there on the pipe. So we're going to slide it onto the copper pipe, and then we'll just tighten this hex key, or this hex screw, and then we should be good to go. So let's get some better light in here. So before you go and replace your own tub spout, what you do want to look for is, again, to see what kind of tub spout your tub is going to actually have. There are different kinds. Um, most of these copper tubes are half inch. You'll see some three quarter inch sometimes. And sometimes you'll even see some threaded, threaded uh, pipes. And so if you have a threaded pipe, you are going to need to replace your spout with a threaded spout. So, uh, if you're doing this at home by yourself, basically my suggestion is take apart your old one and then just get a replacement that matches the old one. So don't try to go out to the store and buy a new one just yet until you know exactly what you're going to need. So let's go ahead and get this new one on. So, like I said, oh, that's actually missing this first. So here's a little thing that I didn't even think of. I have, let me show you. I have this Milwaukee bit set and it has all kinds of bits. This one right here. This bit right here is exact, uh, the exact size I need for that screw. But when I tried to use even just a screwdriver, the washout or the clean out, gets in the way of the screwdriver, so I couldn't do it. So, all these little Allen keys that you probably never use, they'll come in handy right here for this job. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Put this here. And we'll just unscrew it until So unscrew that enough. That should be good. All right. Let's just try and clean this up a little bit and get some of that stuff off. If there's any kind of extra buildup, let's try to get that off. There we go. 
that did it. So slide that into place, just like that. Take your Allen key, then again underneath. We're just gonna tighten that hex screw. I don't even know if you guys can see, but there's really not much to it. I just want this nice and snug. Should be good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. No D. Moment of truth. Go. So that was a quick and easy fix. Um, anyone can probably do this at home. Just like I said, check the pre-existing tub spout, see what kind of spout that your uh, your tub has before you go out and buy a new one. And I mean, these range in cost. Um, the one that I found originally was, I think I got Home Depot for $18, $19. So I'll post links down in the description and then I'll post some Amazon links too, just for some different variety. But thank you all for watching this video all the way to the end. If you can, like this video, leave a comment and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.